Hi, I'm Miles. Welcome to Fabric Canada's YouTube channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to make this awesome one-piece swimsuit. Um, there's no surgery required and it's fully lined. It's an awesome suit with a bust dart. Um, so thank you so much for joining us. If you like this video, please share, like, link, whatever you want to do. Let's get started. For our swimsuit today, we're going to be using Butterick. Uh, B4526. We're going to be using View C, which is a nice one piece with a scoop front and a scoop in the back. Uh, the nice thing about this pattern is it has a bust dart, which gives a nice shape, and it's also um, it has, comes in sizes for your cup size. So we're going to be making the AB, but there's also the option of doing a CD cup size. Um, the fabric that you use is very important in swimwear. You need a nice stretch on the crosswise and the lengthwise. The fabric that we're choosing today has this beautiful kind of graffiti print, lots of fun colors, but it has a really obvious uh, crosswise print. So we actually ended up cutting this with the lengthwise grain going this way, um, but there is enough stretch on the crosswise and the length for our, um, our project. So we have cut out in our beautiful fabric, the front, we've cut out the lining, which has a similar degree of stretch in a nice nude color. We've cut out the back of our bathing suit in our fun print and in the lining as well. Before we move on, I just want to say that the pattern that we've selected, although we do like it for a lot of elements, including the, um, the bust dart and the general shape of the suit, I am completely ignoring all of the instructions included. Um, the method that they use is quite different. Um, they've included a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance at the neck hole, arm hole, and leg openings. And for the method that we're using, we only need a quarter inch. So what I've done is I've traced my pattern out onto a little bit harder paper, and I've, I've removed 3 8 of an inch, which is a centimeter if you're in Canada or a country that uses metric. We've removed 3 8 of an inch, um, a centimeter from the neckline, the arm hole, and the leg openings. Um, so it is imperative for this method that you do that before we get started. So the first thing we need to do before we get started is mark our bust dart. So I've actually done, like I said, tiny little notches at the ends of the darts and then I need to mark the bust dart. I'm going to mark mine with chalk and then I'm going to go to the sewing machine and then we'll see you soon. So we've sewn our darts. We just used a straight stitch and a ballpoint needle. We did the darts in the main fabric. We did the same dart in the lining and we've done it on the left and right sides. The important part of the method that we're using is that we get our layering proper. We're going to be um, sewing all four layers of the bathing suit at the same time. The first thing we're going to start with is the back of the suit in the main fabric and we're going to lay it in front of us with the design facing up. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the, our design fabric, uh, the front, and lay it face down on top of the back piece. We've sewn our dart, so that's ready to go. Then we're going to take our lining piece for the front, and that's going to go uh, backside facing down, so you won't be able to see your dart because the dart is underneath. And then we're going to take the back, and we're going to put the right side of the back piece facing down. And then we're along the side seams along the crotch and along the uh, shoulder straps, we're going to line them up and we're going to pin. So I'm just going to give a couple of helpful hints about pinning the crotch. You'll find that the front piece is quite a bit longer than the back piece so they don't instantly line up. And you'll also find that on the back piece the shape of the seam is a little bit curved so it might be a little bit tricky. But it's basically you just want to take lots of care um, you're going to line up with your two fabric pieces. Maybe line up the center first and then layer the front lining and then the back lining and then pin from the center so we know that everything's kind of in place and then that'll make it a little bit easier to pin that curve because the front pieces are straight but the back pieces are curved so you're just going to line it up on the other side. Again, take, pinning a straight piece along a curved piece. And now we can start sewing. Yay! 
and use a wider zigzag stitch to stitch all those seam allowances together. So here we have our nice wide zigzag stitch that's holding all of our seam allowances together. So here is the moment we've all been waiting for. We've sewn our side seams, we've sewn our crotch in the same method with a narrow zigzag, we've trimmed and then a wide zigzag, and we've sewn our shoulder seams the same way through all four layers. So the big moment is the turn. We're going to reach in between the two lining pieces, turn it inside out, then we're going to reach in between the two print pieces, turn it inside out again, right side out actually. And the beauty is that all of your seam allowances are tucked between your main fabric and your lining. And that's at your side seams and your crotch and your shoulders. So here we have our lined swimsuit, but if you put this on right now, it would look pretty ridiculous with no elastic. Um, so we're going to talk about the elastic here. It's a quarter inch wide. Uh, it's a braided swimsuit elastic made specifically for swimwear uh, to be durable. We're going to be putting it on the leg openings, the armhole openings, and the neckline. We're going to cut it specifically to the sizes indicated in the pattern. Then we're going to go and take each piece and stitch it into a loop and then we're going to meet you back here to show you how to stitch it to your swimsuit. So we're going to start showing the process with an armhole. So we've cut the elastic that we need and we've stitched it into a loop. Nice and secure kind of zigzag stitch there. What we need to do is from where we've stitched it we'll use that as one starting point. Then we're going to fold our elastic in half and I'm going to place a pin at the halfway mark and then I'm going to bring that pin to my original mark where I started that's stitched. I'm going to fold it in half again and then where I find the fold I'm going to place another pin. You got to make sure once you make your loops that your elastic isn't twisted because then it definitely will not fit in your armhole. Place the other pin so now we have a piece of elastic for the armhole that's in four sections even. The next thing we need to do is divide the armhole into the same even four sections. So I'm going to start at the side seam. I'm going to put my fold my armhole in half essentially. So lining up all those raw edges. Now that's not going to line up with your shoulder seam. It's actually going to be a little bit off of the shoulder seam. I'm going to mark my halfway point with a pin and then again I'm going to bring my pin to my side seam, fold my armhole in half again and mark, put a pin at that point, flip it around, line up my side seam with that first pin I put in line up those edges and place the final pin. So now we have an armhole that's sectioned into quarters as well. So now that we have our elastic and our armholes quartered, we're basically going to pin the elastic to the swimsuit matching up all of our markings. Um, we we're going to have a bit of a lump where we did our join, so we don't want that at the side seam because it's going to get a bit too bulky. So I'm going to do that kind of on the back of the strap. I'm going to line up that spot with that pin on the back strap. I'm going to remove the pin from the suit and stitch it right to, through the elastic. Then we're going to mark the next. We're going to match the next pin with the pin in the armhole and pin the elastic to the swimsuit at that point. Basically going to continue that for each of our markings until our elastic is secure. Once we've done that, we can bring our suit to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch the elastic to the swimsuit with a zigzag stitch. So once we have the elastic stitched to the armhole, we're going to use the inside edge of the elastic to wrap the seam to the inside of the suit. And then we're going to go back to the sewing machine. We're going to use the same zigzag stitch to top stitch the seam allowance in place. So we 
followed the same steps that we did on the armholes with the neckline and the leg openings. So with that done, the suit is finished. I'm going to show you that it looks just as nice on the inside, fully lined as it does on the outside. So it looks like we are ready to hit the beach. Thank you so much for joining us today and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for following us.